and welcome back to my channel my name is Jordan and today I have yet another unboxing video for you I have just received my first lit joy crate box I actually ordered something specific from them I ordered two things from them one of them was a previous box that is in their monthly subscription thing and another one is a set of books and an enamel pin however I'm not sure which one this is I think this might be a past box but I won't know until I open it so I'm very excited to share this with you. I have not subscribed to Lit Joy Crate. I don't think I can actually afford that right now because I'm already subscribed to Fairy Loot and to Illumicrate. And my husband will kill me if he sees all of these subscriptions going through every month. And you know, why are you paying off all these things every month? What's with all these charges? I mean, mind your own credit card, Steven. What? <sighs> so. That was my husband. I think he heard me talking. Okay, so anyway. Uh, first Lit Joy Crate box. I am very excited to have this. The box is very cute. It has designs on every side. I'm not going to show you the bottom because it's my address label. So let's see what's inside it. Okay. All this is, this is the past box. This is the Star-Crossed Lovers box, which I can see. I love the inside of the box itself. It has the drawing on there, the sketching that looks like doodles. I used to do that in high school and I would get in trouble for it. So it's good to see that other people are making money off of things that got me suspended and in detention all the time. So, um, so we are going to look at this thing. Yes, this is a past crate box, passport sticker, VIP silver unicorn. That is super cute. There's that, and it has a cute little unicorn sticker. I will get a nice clear photo of this later, but it is very cute. And it says silver horn. So there is that. We'll have to find something to put all of these things in. And so we have this little booklet for Starcrossed Lovers. I believe this was the November box. But somebody who subscribes may know a little bit more about that than I do. Hi. So we have this little booklet that, you know, tells you what comes in here. And that is actually really cute. I love this. And it says, read me first. You can get the full crate, the book only, or an item only, which is cool. So, I mean, if you're going to do it, you might as well go big, right? So, I just ordered the past box. I'm not going to read what's in it. Um, yes, this is the Star Cross Lovers one. And it says November Photo Challenge right here. And then it says the theme for December, which, you know, it's already March. You guys have already had that or seen it or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. But there is that. I do want to look at everything. Boy. That is technically on the bottom, so we'll just pull this out. Oh, this is cute. This is a 250-piece puzzle. Is that what it said? Yes, 250-piece puzzle. And I'm not sure what it goes to. However, this may tell me. So let me see. Um, something, something. Book, book, something, book light. I, the Night Circus Puzzle. Oh, that's a book series I've been meaning to get and I haven't gotten yet. So this is the Night Circus Puzzle and it is 250 pieces. It is shrink wrapped, so I'm trying to show you the best way to see it without ruining it. Okay, um, blah, blah, blah. We know we're going to feel the same way about this puzzle. Blah, blah, blah. Night Circus, just like Tavik and Genya from Soul Swift, Marco and Celia of the Night Circus find themselves fighting each other. Made rivals by their mentors and with the odds stacked against them. You know, gotta love that enemies to lovers thing. It's always something with with these things. So, you know, even... I'm not sure if I'm going to build this puzzle soon. But if I ever do, I will maybe make a time-lapse video of it and put it up. But if I do decide to do that, I will also get that puzzle glue that you know, people use to glue the puzzle together and or I will and I will just frame it or I will just get a frame for it and put it in the frame and hang it up because I mean 
I'm not going to do the puzzle to undo it, to redo it, to undo it, and redo it. I will only want to do the puzzle once. And especially with a 250 piece puzzle, I do not have the attention span for that. So we will see. All right, so the next thing on top of the puzzle is, or under the puzzle, is this, which everything says made in China. So in case you are curious about that, if you see that sticker on the side. Oh, I think I saw this. It said it was a book light. And that is actually perfect because I still have not finished reading Siege and Storm in the Shadow and Bone Trilogy so that I can um, uh, read um, Ruin and Rising and Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom to get ready for the TV show. That is coming out in four weeks. Um, no, it doesn't come with batteries, so we'll see what kind it takes. One AAA battery, so I will get that in there, and it is a Shadow Hunters. Um, nightlight thing and this is actually perfect because my husband has constantly been complaining about me keeping my bedside uh, light on to read and uh, he says that it, the light keeps him awake and he has problems going to sleep if I have the light on or he wakes back up because I have the light on so this is actually perfect I totally needed this so that is super cute definitely making use of that tonight Ooh, I just pulled out a dragon pin, A Curse So Dark and Lonely, and if you can't tell, my book is right here, Curse So Dark and Lonely, and a vow, oh, A Heart So Fierce and Broken. I do not have a vow so bold and deadly yet, however, I will be getting that soon, and I have put myself on the wait list with the bookish box slash the bookish shop. They have a recovered design coming out for that series and I have not read it yet but I do want to get the different dust jackets because I did the same thing with Nerdy Ink for Throne of Glass, Harry Potter, and The Lord of the Rings. I got all of those dust jackets and I also got the Bookish Box dust jackets for the Twilight series. If you haven't seen those, they're beautiful. I will tag the videos that show off all of those different sets of dust jackets um, at the end of this video. I will tag those down below. So this is a Curse So Dark and Lonely. This is an enamel pin and it is a dragon. It says the curse torments us all. And this was designed by Amanda Nelson Design Co. So that is super cute. And I will again take luxurious photos of this after I'm done. I'm trying to get it straight for you guys. I'm so sorry. And it's still also in the wrapper so you're not going to see it very well. So I will take photos and put them in. It's This is really cute. It's a little dragon with roses and he's over a city with a full moon which is cool. I like that the things on the back are blue. That's definitely unique. I have an enamel pin board where I put all my enamel pins and I don't have that many yet but I'm hoping that one day I'll fill it up with all the enamel pins from all my subscription boxes and everything else. So I will be putting that up later. And I will show you. And we have these. Let's find out what these are. They are Pair of Thieves Dish Towel Set. Sometimes love is less about romance and more about loyalty and having each other's back. See sentiment portrayed through the various relationships in Soul Swift, and it reminded us of the relationship between Kaz, 
Dirty Hands, Brecker, and Inej, the Wraith, Wrath, uh, Gaffa, share, uh, then they share, blah, 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 uh, blah, 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 brutal yet solid, uh, little levity with these Six of Crows characters, the kitchen towels, and a reminder to wash your dirty hands. How cool is that? I like it. So I will show these off one more time together. This one says wash your dirty hands and wraith your dirty hands. Is it wraith or is it wrath? Mm, I'm not sure. My dyslexia and my ADHD are both like taking horrible advantage of me right now. I'm not sure if that's wraith or wrath. I'm, I'm thinking it's wraith because I'm thinking wrath is W-R-A-T-H. I don't think there's an I in wrath. Dyslexia, what are you going to do? So, ADHD, dyslexia, I'm a mess. I'm just a mess. Okay, so now we have gotten to the book, but there's stuff under the book, so I'm going to look at all the little stuff under the book. Um, oh, we have the OK sticker from The Fault in Our Stars. That's right, The Fault in Our Stars. Um, I remember seeing the trailer for this. I have not actually seen this movie. I remember seeing the trailer for it, and it said, um, maybe OK can be our forever, I promise, or something, or something like cute and romantic and teeny like that. And, you know, so they're just like, okay, okay. And, you know, so that's really cute. I love that. And this looks like it said, I think I saw it said ornament. Romeo and Juliet wood ornament. What light through yonder window breaks? Lit Joy Crate 2020. Let me tell you, I love Romeo and Juliet and I'm so sorry if you hear my daughter screaming my husband is upstairs taking a shower and they are supposed to be in their room watching TV but my three-year-old can actually we have those tall gates with the doors so it's about up to an adult's uh, high thigh or waist or whatever it's it's one of the taller gates my three-year-old can climb over those gates now and he climbs out of it and goes into my one-year-old's room and then he's just he's mean he stands on her and he takes her toys and he's just he's mean so we try to keep them separate but when he can climb the gate there's not much you can do So this is enamel pen photo strip from Ember in the Ashes. And I did actually just get that book set from Fairy Loot. Um, the Fairy Loot version, I have it right there. Um, I have not read it, but I do want to. Next is a photo strip in our collection. Highlights epic and incredible book, Ember in the Ashes. We couldn't wait to portray. Uh, Leah, L-A-I-A, -A. I'm going to say Leah, Elias, and Helen as strong and powerful protagonists that they are. So this says, you will seek and burn, oh, no, excuse me, my dyslexia and ADHD, I can barely read cursive. We were taught how to sign our names in third grade and they said you only need to know how to sign your name I'm gonna teach you they taught they spent one day and had us all write every letter of the alphabet and then they spent two weeks having us learn to sign our names and nothing else we didn't write in cursive we didn't do whatever and now I can barely read cursive so excuse me you will spark and burn ravage and destroy you cannot change it you cannot stop it And again, the glossy paper is kind of hiding everything, so I can't really do much to make it look better. Oh, 
we do have in uh, a print and on the back of it it has a Dear Lovejoy Reader letter from the author. Um, I will take a photo of this and I'll make it last a little bit longer so you can read it or pause the video to read it if you would like. Um, or you most likely already have this box and you've already read it or seen them, seen it about. So, that is all of the stuff. The box is now empty and they did put their little thing on the bottom. So now we can look at the book because I have not seen the book and I don't remember if I know what it is or not. And I won't remember until I open it. So we will see. All right. And Lit Joy Crate has their cute little book bag thing that has the same um, writing all over from the inside of the box all over it. And it looks really nice. I actually like this. This is a thicker material than Fairy Loots. And it's, I don't want to say better, but it's different. And honestly, I think it seems a little more sturdy than the Fairy Loot ones. The Fairy Loot ones, they seem a little thin. Okay, Soul Swift. I have never heard of this book. I don't know if this is the first book, the second book, the third book, I'm not sure. It says, author of The Bird and the Blade. When she becomes the human vessel of an immortal spirit, a girl once silenced by faith will have the final say on humanity's fate. Is the soul inside her a goddess who will save the world or a demon who will destroy it? Ooh, this sounds like my kind of book. Now, let me tell you, if I saw this book cover in the store, I would probably walk by it about three or four times before I decided, you know, that, that might look a little interesting. And then I'll pick it up and then I would try to read about it. And usually I like, I love these. Just this little snippet that gives you, that just draws you in. I prefer that than to you know, read what the book is about because I just need something quick and simple and whatever just to snap my attention to force me to read about it to see if I actually want to read the book. Now, based on that, I do want to read the book. So I am actually going to read about the book and then I will see. So give me one second to do that. So I did read about the book and pretty much what's on the back sums it up pretty well, you know. I like this. Um, I will try to show it better in photos, but the bird is shiny. Not the rest of it. The rest of it is like matte, but the bird is a uh, shiny, glossy part. So I like that. That is really cute. And let's see, this was written by Megan Bannon. Ooh, so we open it up. It is signed by Megan Bannon. And the picture that is on the cover, and it does have that that says it's a Lit Joy edition. The picture that is on the little author's note card is in the book, which is really cool. And there is a map, Empire of the Holy Ovenist Church, which is pretty cool. I love maps. Uh, writing around here says, within the stone lies a deadly secret. You know, this bitch loves secrets. So I did notice when I was pulling it out that there is something on the inside of the dust jacket, kind of the way Fairy Loot does. However, the book leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, that's the one place where Fairy Loot shines. They don't just redesign the cover and put something on the inside of the dust jacket, or they don't just put something on the inside of the dust jacket. Um, they completely redesign the cover or they change the colors and they put something on the inside of the dust jacket and they put gold foiling on the front and back cover or most of the, or at least just the front to give it some to give you something to look at when you open it. So, you know, this is nice, but you know, if this was on my bookshelf, I would not pick it up. So, this is the inside and I'm going to assume that these are the main characters and not going to lie, I like that the main girl does not have, you know, long flowing hair. It is nice to see some representation of girls with short hair or pixie cuts or no hair at all.
I will wrap this video up and I will talk to you guys next time. Most likely I will have a book review for you. Hopefully I have a book review for you. I'm going to finish Siege and Storm before my vacation and then I will m most likely start Ruin and Rising and take it on my vacation with me. My son has spring break coming up on uh, in the second or third week of April and we are traveling from our place up to go visit our mothers and it's about a 10 hour drive there and back and we're staying there for a week so I'll have plenty of time to read and I will most likely take my other books with me and optimistically hope that I get the opportunity to read a little bit more and try to get at least one or two of those books read because by the time I come back um, it'll I'll have about two weeks left before the TV show comes and hopefully I'll only have one or two books left to read instead of, you know, three. So I will let you guys go and I will talk to you guys uh, next time. Bye.